All right, so quickly before this video starts, it's the week of Black Friday, so stuff's going crazy. Today, Young LA Black Friday sale is going live at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time or 3 p.m. Eastern Time. This is one of the pieces coming out. I love quarter zips. It's a cool purple color. There's a purple color hoodie. And I, this whole box is Young LA stuff they sent me, so I just picked some of my favorite things that they came out with new colors. This, one of their oversized cotton tees, it's like a thick cotton tee, fits super cool. Simple black long sleeve t-shirt can't be beat and a new colorway for the kind of acid wash t-shirt that I've worn a bunch of times in blue so there's a whole ton of new stuff they have winter jackets which I'm going to be wearing when I visit Canada and whatnot but a bunch of cool stuff jackets vests everything the box full of stuff but I'm letting you guys know that the sales went live today 12 p.m. Pacific Standard 3 p.m. Eastern remember to use code CBUM the whole site is 30% off and that's it Let's get on with the video That's what, that's cooking with Courtney gone wrong. I don't know what happened here, but some shit went down. Cause I was made for this! She's gonna ask them when they restock those white shirts so we can get more for the regular raw black. Cool. Done. In copper colors. Just save, no, a no, no. save, in, a, save a couple of the ones that are coming in though for him to get this printed on. For himself? For himself. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. 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 We bought more than we need. I so. figured. I just want to make sure. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'll go it, was tell like, it was like 315, 320, something. Yeah. I'll, I'll go, go tell her. Okay. I'll go tell her to finish order. Yeah. What is up, YouTube? This meal looks a little fooped up right now, but it's a little bit of chicken, or it's ground turkey, right? And then I put like a lather of corn butternut squash soup in there. So when it heats up, it'll look a little better, but her soup is absolutely amazing. And yeah, it's, today's Monday, so today's our busy day in the office where the weekend's over and we're rushing through everything. So we had a meeting in the morning, I think Calvin filmed a bunch of that. That's just kind of like a marketing meeting, planning everything. We're moving, catching up on how things are going for Raw as well as for Vibe. And then me and Maddie are planning all the clothing drops that are coming soon. Next one is coming, I believe, first week of December. So get ready for that. And that's kind of what's going on today. We're doing that. We're going to go train later. Got a bunch of work to do. We're going to Canada in a few days for an event. So this video will be up when I'm in Canada probably. But lots going on right now. It's going to be a hectic time. Keep them busy. But I'm starving so I'm gonna eat this meal and then when I go eat I'll show you guys my office that's not updated yet, but I at least have a desk and a computer, so I'll show you around a little bit. We're true workers, we're going on a coffee run midday. We're crashing, dying. It smells like sweat in here. It doesn't? Truth be told, Ryan, I'm not even going for a coffee run. Calvin's getting coffee, I'm just hungry. <laughs> I'm getting a snack. I'm so sorry about that, sir. Could you repeat that for me? It's like a low fat turkey bacon egg white sandwich, breakfast sandwich. Is that reduced fat turkey bacon? Yes. Sure what else for you, man? Oh, that's everything. All right, nitro cold room, uh, hot coffee with almond milk and a turkey bacon. It's gonna come out to 1283. Thank you. You got it. That breakfast sandwich is the absolute go quick sandwich. It's like 250 calories or something. It tastes delicious. And I'm a fat ass. <clears throat> Look at that old 
whole piece of heaven. Just delicious. Definitely missing ketchup, but it's so good it barely needs it. But ketchup makes it better. Alright, so this is a digs right now. Check out the decor of my office. It's beautiful. Courtney actually ordered me a dope poster, but I'll explain the story when the right one comes. It's pretty funny of the wrong one. But I gotta start outfitting this place. It's a little depressing clinical right now. But this is where I've been trying to get shit done in my life right now. But wrapping up the day, it's like four o'clock or something, we're heading out. But I gotta go talk to Mr. Dominic. So I figured we'd give you a little tour of what the office is like here. This is Matt Jansen's office. He's got some Master of Olympia trophies. Matty Milkshake is in here. The man always has ketchup on his desk. So if you have, if I ever need ketchup, I forget it. Where do I come? Right here. And Beautiful why? Here. Because ketchup is life. Ketchup is life. You guys already know. This is Scott. Scott is the jack of all trades, master of everything. He runs the show around here and doesn't stop running around. Never. And this is Michael. He's one of our new guys, but he's sliding the game and he fit right in immediately. So, beautiful man. Making him blush. We're gonna torture these people in the vlog for a little bit so get used to their faces. And everyone always eats this like lean cuisine stuff. Is that what that is? Dude. Is it lean cuisine? Go judge the macros and tell me if it's approved. Oh, they're, I'm, I was gonna say how good they smell. Yeah, healthy choice. It's a healthy choice. Not a sponsor. It's a little better than Chipotle, but it tastes amazing. That's where Calvin's set up right now. For the interim. And this is our entryway. This is Mr. John West right here. The king of the warehouse and a million things in between. Writing POs now and filling orders and running the show. We're gonna go upstairs. And I think Don's up here. This is where he gets his steps in. That's for me after like the ride of that thing all the way up. It's an absolute workout to get up here. And this guy's guarding the way. Yeah. Oh, what are you doing in your power shirt? I know, I'm fancy right now. Wow. This is the boss man. <laughs> this. Oh, you're often looking more put the other now. You didn't see it before? You didn't see it since? No, it looks good. Yeah. And Sammy is our the boss, the real boss She's of the, the company. She's the, C, the C O O O. He is. I paid her to wear my merch in this video too, by the way. But this is where the real magic happens, I guess. The yeah. cool stuff from the walls. His office is a little prettier than mine right now, but. So mine's like half done too, so I still gotta like hang all the pictures and Have shit. you looked in mine? Yeah, well, Calvin can't build a desk to save his life, so. <laughs> yeah, I went underneath it. Calvin tried to build my desk, but went underneath every screw was half put in. So I just had to it. The screws screw didn't tight. fit in the hole, man. He said they didn't fit, I just <laughs> screwed them and they just went in. I was like, all right, well, that's helpful. Yeah. But yeah, this is what the office looks like right now, so. Hercules is responsible for many employee, uh, <laughs> Eventually we're gonna have some good footage of him just destroying any food he sees. But if you guys ever come to the office, we have some giveaways, cool stuff we're doing, bringing people down. Yes. Don't leave your food out because he will eat it. He will. Or leave it out for the experience because it's kind of funny. <laughs> but yeah, that's the office. So we're gonna get some food, go train in a bit. I think I'm training legs, so I'll see you guys there. That's what, that's cooking with Courtney gone wrong. I don't know what happened here, but some shit went down. But just got back from the office, ate some good food, ready to work out. Honestly, pretty tired right now, so I need some pre-workout. Calvin, are you taking pre-workout? I guess so. What pre-workout should I take? Rocket. Rocket? Yeah. So C-bone? Do you have any rocket candy left or do you use it? There you go. Oh man, I'm not ready to work out right now. I don't even know why I'm working out. I barely even train anymore. I train three days a week right now, but today's my one of three days, so I'm like, I can't skip one of three days to work out. So we're gonna get going to the gym and get Liddy. I forgot I was vlogging right there. I'm so tired of all that, just was talking. But put this down, see you at the gym. 
All right, we're at the gym, definitely train legs. We're gonna make it quick, we're gonna make it short because I don't work yet anymore, so we're gonna make it intense as I want it to be. Put the, we're putting the treats I've been eating to work right now. So we're gonna start with quad extension, superset with hamstring curls, whatever the closest one is to that one over there. I'll probably maybe use the new squat machine they have here because it's a fucking sick machine. And then we're gonna wing it from there, so let's get started. So, second exercise machine I wanted is taking. It's very sad. But I'm going to be doing this hip press one leg at a time. We're doing more one leg at a movement. It feels good just to do like the one leg at a time. I really feel it. And I don't have to put as many weights on because I'm pretty lazy right now. But that's what we're doing right now. Hopefully, I can do the squat machine afterwards. I haven't really explained what my training is like right now. It's just trying to cut down volume, give my body a break from the stress and everything. So I do like two working sets that aren't as intense, definitely not as heavy as they used to be, and a lot less exercises, and less, less training throughout the week. So I'm trying to take three to four days off a week right now, which is a lot more than I would normally do. And my body just needs a break. I'm not trying to grow right now. It's like 14 months to the next Olympia. So I'm just trying to like maintain a little muscle, look good, feel good through it all, do my hot yoga, my stretching, my cardio, just trying to be healthy and find the balance in life. Because bodybuilding, you can't have balance within like every day, you need to kill yourself, but you find balance within the year. So I'm taking a few months to chill and then back to it.
haven't done a hack squat in a while. <sighs> Man, my knees are like, I feel good, I feel rested, but my knees feel like dry still. You're just not used to weight being on them. So, like I said, I keep repeating myself, taking it easy, but the squat machine I really want to use, the guy's been using it for like 30 minutes. So, I will not be using it today. Next video, you'll see what machine I'm talking about for now. We're on the murderous Cybex hack machine, one of the old pieces of equipment with minimal function to it, but it just works so good. I think this is going to be the last to second last exercise that I do right now. Do a superset, two presses, another superset, maybe some calves and we'll wrap it up. It's a good leg workout if you ask me. So take it as it is. My hardest struggle I've been finding lately is like being actually busy through the day with a lot of stuff. Like business, trying to grow sebum, raw, everything. As Calvin calls it stuff we're like organizing. I used to have so little to do that it would just be like, do my little stuff, go to the gym, nothing on my brain. Now I have people texting me and all this shit and I need to learn, I'm gonna have to learn. So when I'm at the gym, just like shut off my phone, separate my brain from that and actually focus on training because this is just me fucking around right now. But when it comes time to start chasing after number four, I'm gonna lock my head in and be focused. So I'm gonna start having to plan, organize my life, get that shit together because it works. I gotta start soon.
big dreams, small calves. That's going to be a wrap on this workout. I feel like I'm sufficient with that leg day. I had like one set on the high squat. I pushed pretty hard. I super set it to get some drop sets. So a little more intensity than I would normally do in the last week or two. So quick and plain. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Me and Calvin got another trip coming up to Canada coming soon. So we'll be documenting that. And then it's going to be a farewell to Calvin. So you guys are going to have some shitty T-Bum vlogs for a few months until he's back. But then we're going to be full swing first quarter next year. So we'll be back soon. Till then, hope you all have a good night. Appreciate y'all. Catch you in the next one.